gradient maps can really help spice up your image. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in GIMP once again. I'm gonna get started as quickly as possible today. So if I go ahead and I pick these two colors with the pink and the yellow, the pink is gonna be replacing the black, and the yellow is gonna be place replacing the white. You can always tell this little uh, depiction right here always help you remember to keep the one that's supposed to be the darker color on top and the lighter one on the bottom. If I go up to colors and uh, map and go to gradient map and I click this, you should be able to see instantly that we have... A gradient map. This is a really, really neat effect. I love this kind of uh, strong overlay, but if you're not going for this type of effect, which is totally fine, because um, it is pretty harsh, um, but if you're not going for this type of effect, we can we have a lot of options over here. The ones I'm going to recommend you use the most is either screen, overlay, or multiply. Now, these three are going to be like your best friends. You could, of course, use hard light for some specific situations, or you can use grain merge. Um, but the ones we're going to be using most likely the most is screen, multiply, and overlay. Right now, I'm going to go and I'm put this. I'm going to put this one on multiply, and I'm going to turn that about halfway down. So now we have this bit of a warmer effect. That's a bit more uh, clean looking, and this is a bit more warm. Um, so I'm going to hide that for a second. I'm going to duplicate this one more time, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to change the colors to a nice blue like that. And a green like that, I suppose. So we'll take those two colors and do the same exact thing that we did before with uh, colors, map, gradient map. And now this one, now this looks really cool. This is like an m and bank advertisement, I guess. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like, actually. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put this one on screen. This one's going to go on screen, and we're going to put that about halfway down. Put that about halfway down as well, maybe a little bit more than half. And, and uh, we have this really nice effect. As you can see, it, it definitely changes the entire feeling of the picture. Um, so, I mean, what we have here is like more of a sci-fi kind of thing, I suppose. Like I said, there's so many different things you can do. but And you can also take this even further by mixing them. So, if I go ahead and I put this multiplier on the bottom and mix these two, you see, this is what we had before. Then with the multiply warm layer, and now with the bluish layer. If we can do this again with a better mixture instead of uh, yellow and green, because that doesn't go very well together. But if I go ahead and I take this blue and like this teal right here, and then I do that with this one, colors, map, gradient map, and then we put this one on screen, and then uh, we merge those together. You can see that we have a really nice effect. So now we have the clean layer, which is a raw. Then we have the warm, and then we stack the uh, the new one on top of that, and it looks has it has a really really nice feel to it. it uh, we're going on more of a vintage kind of feel now. And if we add and we keep stacking these layers on top of each other, so if I go and I add like a red, and let's do something really outrageous, red and purple. All right, so if we go ahead and do that, maybe we'll go with a less saturated red, something like that, more dark. And we go uh, map gradient map. And we do this as the last one, you should be able to see that we can probably get all of this. Let's flip that because it looks a bit weird that way around. So maybe the, the purple should replace the red. Uh, we have to start from the raw image. Um, the purple should replace the black instead of the other way around. Nope, not color exchange. Uh, that's not what we need. We need gradient map. All right, so there we go. And uh, it, looks, it looks better, I suppose. It's going to be weird anyway. It's two colors that don't, they don't go together very well. But uh, if we put that on overlay, you should be able to see that we have a really nice feel on top of those. So you, we can just literally stack that all day. This is the raw with the warm with the uh, with the bit of a vintage overlay right there. And now we have that overlay as well. And if you change the order of these layers as well, they will also start to look a bit different. So I'm going to stick this uh, this red one on the bottom. And then have the multiply layer go on top of that. And then the screen layer go on top of that. So that is it for gradient maps. We have a huge difference from when we started. Um, and then if we add in that other that other green one back in, we can add that on like overlay or something. And then drop that way down as well. You can see how we have so many different options and things we can do, which is really, really sweet. Um, so that's a big difference from where we started until uh, until now. So um, that is that. That's Gradient Maps right there. I hope you guys enjoyed making your own Instagram filters. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.